Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Premier. The McGuinty Wynn government has produced the largest scandal in Ontario history. The campaign decision to cancel the gas plants to save two Liberal seats has cost the hardworking families of Ontario $1.3 billion. But it's also cost your government its credibility. Absolutely. Political interference has obstructed access to thousands of cancellation documents, resulting in no less than three document dumps. The OPA CEO claims that they didn't have the searches right the first times. This abuse of public office is further reflected in the Premier's lack, apparent lack of will to get to the bottom of this debacle. Premier, will you commit to calling for a select committee you promised this House and do it immediately? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. No, Mr. Yeah. Speaker, the Tories are all over the map on this. Again, Mr. Speaker, as my friend the Minister of the Environment says, the Tories are all over the map on this, Mr. Speaker. The fact of the matter I is that they the moved forward with the motion that was brought forward Why by the member the from uh, Cambridge, and they decided to go that route, a motion which, quite frankly, Mr. Speaker, in light, and particularly in light of the fact that the uh, former Minister of Energy has now left public life, is nothing more than mean-spirited and vindictive. But that being said, Mr. Mr. Speaker, our side of the House will cooperate fully with the committee. The Premier has uh, given her personal assurances about appearances before the committee. And Mr. Speaker, I think it's about time that we let the committee start Let's to undertake its work. Right. But as I've said a number of times today, Mr. Speaker, we are looking yes, forward to hearing from the Conservatives about their plans to cancel the plans, about their uh, costing, about their policy analysis on an issue which obviously they feel is top of the public's Thank agenda. You. Supplementary. Thank you, Speaker. Um, Speaker, I'm also a mediator, and I know one thing. Mediators don't punt their problems off to other people for res resolution. The question is for the Premier, not for the House Leader. It's getting to be more less Groundhog Day, more Looney Tunes. See your lips moving some, but I don't hear anything coming out. Speaker, the McGinty Wind duo is responsible for the gas plant cancellations and the perpetually lost documents. Together, they're a campaign chair and candidate. Together, they sat at the cabinet table for the last decade. Together, they weathered the OLG scandal, the e-health scandal, the orange scandal, and now the gas plant scandal. The Premier will have you believe that there's a new government now that she shuffled her B-team into their cabinet positions. Yet the same minister that the McGinty win team didn't believe could win his own seat was rewarded with the promotion of his lifetime. Wow. Minister of Finance, despite the fact he directly benefited from tax dollars. It's, it, it looks like she's not getting it right the first times either, but it's not too late. That's why I want to know, Premier, will you deliver the Thank promised you. select committees so Ontarians who are on the hook for $1.3 billion you. can finally get to the bottom? Yeah. Mr. Speaker, I, I, I don't think any of us know what the uh, official opposition want. On one day, we have the member from Cambridge saying that a, uh, an inquiry is too expensive, and then several he days later, right. uh, the member from North Bay holds a press conference calling for the inquiry. Uh, the the Premier wrong. comes forward and offers a select committee instead of having uh, one that is focused in a very mean-spirited and vindictive motion, and the opposition decide to go with what, quite frankly, is a uh, nothing but a vindictive and witch hunt against a, uh, a former member of this legislature. And then several days ago, Mr. Speaker, we hear from the Leader of the Opposition his commitment, not only to this legislature, but to all Ontarians, that he will be voting against a budget which has not even been written yet. Quite frankly, Mr. Speaker, I think it's time that the official opposition perhaps took some time internally to figure out what it is they want and how they can best represent the interests of Ontarians.